What's up? So today we've got a 10 minute treadmill warm up. Now this is something completely different. We're only going to be moving at about a half a mile an hour for the first half of the workout. We're going to be doing some dynamic movements because my goal is to get you to be able to move a little bit better. And since you're probably searching for a treadmill workout, well, I'm going to bring it to you, but we're just going to do it a little bit differently. And that's my job on this channel is I'm going to bring you different and more challenging workouts to help you become a better person while you're training in and out of the gym. So stay tuned and we're going to cover all of that in today's workout. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're just gonna go ahead and skip straight to it. So we've got a 10 minute treadmill warm up. Now what we're gonna do for the first half is you're only gonna be moving at half a mile per hour, okay? We're gonna be doing five moves. So I'm gonna treat this like kind of like a dynamic warm up that I would do on a field or on a turf. But if you're in the comfort of your own home, maybe you have a treadmill and you don't have access to a lot of space, you could do it on here. I'd just be advised, be careful, okay? I am not your doctor, I'm not your physician, I'm not your physical therapist. Please consult with your doctor or primary care physician before beginning a workout like this because I just want you to be safe. But it is a little bit different, right? So we're gonna be doing a walk and toe touch, a hip glute pull, a quad hip pull. We're gonna be doing a knee to chest, and then also we're gonna be doing some hip circles. We're only gonna be moving at half a mile per hour. It's very slow. And again, it's a dynamic warm up for beginners on a treadmill. And then after that, we're gonna jack the incline up to 10. If you don't have an incline, that's fine. You can still do this workout and just increase the speed. But what I wanna challenge you to do in a real life situation is that if you're on a hill, you'll be able to tackle that hill. So I'm trying to prepare you for walking up a big hill because it's gonna work your hamstrings, it's gonna work your glutes that much more. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab our water bottles, let's get hydrated, and we are gonna smash today's treadmill warm up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get 15 seconds on the clock. Let's get rolling. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit quick start here. And I'm just gonna grab some water, get hydrated. All right, so we're moving at half a mile per hour. We're about to get started. And here we go. So we're gonna walk knee to chest, all right? Go slow here. So it's usually three steps. Pull, one, two, three, knee to chest, okay? If you're losing your balance, you can use these rails onto the treadmill here and pull. Step one, step two, step three, knee to chest. One, two, three, Pull. And I'm just trying to loosen up, right? So this is a lot of stuff that I might do on the turf, but I'm just pulling. We are going super slow. So hopefully you can't hurt yourself here. There's always a chance. You might lose your balance if you get shaky. Hold on to the treadmill, no big deal. But I just want you to try and loosen up the body. So I'm taking three steps. When I pull, my foot hits. Step one, two, and three, and we alternate. And we're just going back and forth. And the whole idea here is I'm trying to loosen up our hips because if you just walk and run on the treadmill, your body's gonna get tight. So with this treadmill warm up, I'm trying to get more range of motion out of the body. Same system. We're gonna try a toe touch. Touch the toe, coming back up. One, two, three. All right, right foot already did that. So step right, left, right. Touch the toe, nice and easy. And we're just taking some small steps. One, two, Three, tap. One, two, three, touch. And we're just trying to stretch the hamstrings here. So I'm just taking three steps. Every single rep, I'm just trying to touch my toe. If you can't touch the toe, that's fine. Just maybe you reach down to your knee or to your shin, but it's a little dynamic. So we're not moving fast at all, but I'm just trying to increase my range of motion, increase my flexibility. Like I said, you can also do an alternate version. If you don't have a treadmill, that's fine. You can still do this workout, but we're just doing something a little different, just trying to get the body loose. Sometimes we don't spend enough time stretching, so I like to include this in the workout. All right, next, a lot of balance here. We have the hip glute pull. So we're gonna grab the bottom of the ankle, push on the knee. Just try it, all right? If you're having a hard time, you might hold on to the base of the treadmill. Just try and bring this foot up a little bit. Because when I'm doing my dynamic warm up with clients, we try and work on our balance and we're pushing and pulling. But be careful, if you're losing your balance here, you can use your hands here safely. Maybe you just try and grab that hand. Again, I'm only going half a mile per hour, so we do have plenty of time before we make our way to the edge of this treadmill, right? That's why I just want you moving very, very slowly. But I want you to try and 
push and pull. So when I'm doing this movement, I'm pulling from the bottom of the ankle, pushing on the knee. I don't like grabbing the foot because it doesn't, it doesn't give me that, that tension that I'm looking for in my hips. So I'm trying to really open up that hip and glute, ankle knee. One, two, three, alternate. Bottom of the ankle, push on the knee. Like I said, if you can't grab that far, that high hand here, maybe go there. Just try and pick that foot up a little bit, okay? Next thing, what we're gonna do is a quad hip pull. Now, I didn't tell you, I retweaked my knee. It's super swollen. I'm having a hard time. I can barely grab. Oh, it's so hard. So I am one week fresh on this tweaking my knee. You wouldn't believe it, I overstretched it. But, and I know some of us, we may not be able to grab our foot. Very frustrating for me as a trainer that I, I'm, I'm physically capable to do, do a lot. So this is normally super easy for me, but one, two, three, my left foot. Oh man, it's hard. So, but I'm just trying to get some movement. If you can't, just try and reach for the heel, right? And just trying to get it up, but I'm trying to stretch the quad and the hip. So I'm alternating, and I'm just trying to pull. If you're having a hard time with the same side, you might try opposite. So one, two, three, I can do this, right? Cross here, little touch if you can. If that's all you can do, try and grab and then pull. But if you can get a little bit more extension, go for it, all right? Last one here before we get into it. This one, hip circles, knee up and out. So you can kind of walk towards the outside of the treadmill, knee up and then out. So we're trying to get some hip internal, external rotation, so external rotation, okay? Hip external rotation. Three steps, super slow, bring that knee up and out. Because our hips is like, it's, it's crucial. These, uh, the glute medius, that, that side muscle in the butt right there, it's responsible for your hip internal and external rotation. And it's so important that we get movement in our hips. If you've ever taken any yoga, I'll tell you this, they'll teach you that opening up your hips is the energy pathway to your body. So you've got to have them loose, you've got to have them mobile. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to bring my knees up as high as possible, get some movement and open them up and just go as far as I can, okay? Now what we're gonna do here, this is the last half of the workout, all right? Trust me on this, try it. Well, this is what works for me. We're gonna go, in, whoop, that's the speed, I'm sorry. Incline, so we're still at half a mile per hour. All right, we're going incline level 10. So we're still walking super slow. I know this is a huge jump, but there are some hills that you may walk and they are like pretty steep, right? So we're going very, very slow. And I don't think enough people stress this enough. I'd rather you focus on this incline than focus on the speed. Now, yes, we're going a little bit higher, but guess what? I'm trying to prepare you for my ultimate fat burning workout, which isn't even out yet. But look how slow I'm going, half a mile an hour. Work on this, all right? Now, if this is just way too hard and crazy at half a mile per hour, level 10 incline, please drop it back down. Maybe go to, go to five, cut it in half. If that's too much, go to one or two. But I want you getting used to trying to walk at this incline because immediately I'm hip hinging, right? I'm bending over four. I don't want you upright walking like that. I want you bending at the waist a little bit. You might even bend the knees a little. When I go heel to toe like this, I immediately can feel my glutes and hamstrings, okay? So I feel my glutes and hamstrings, right? We're preparing to go a little bit quicker. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this up. Now we're one mile an hour, okay? Now if you're having a hard time with that half a mile an hour, stay at half a mile an hour. If you can, we'll go up. By the time we're done, we're gonna be at 2.5. So I'm walking at one mile an hour, level 10 incline. All right, I'm heel to toe here. This is a perfect opportunity to work on our gait because some of us, we may be walking sideways like that. You may get away with that for a while, but you're gonna wreak havoc on your knees and hips. So heel to toe. You can actually look down here, right? Look down, heel to toe. Make sure both feet are pointed straight. Watch your feet from turning out. Sometimes if we're jogging and we're running, our feet might point out in crazy directions, but we are trying to walk and control. And I want you getting used to this because this treadmill goes up to 15, so I'm cutting you some slack. We're only at level 10, but when we're done with this, we're gonna be at 2.5. But if you can't go that fast, stay here. Stay at 0.5, stay at one mile an hour, okay? We're gonna go up again. Let's bump it up, 1.5. Little faster, okay? We're getting towards the workout. We're, we're getting there, we're almost done. So just a little bit left to go. But again, heel to toe. 
I'm leaning forward a little bit. I'm not completely upright because if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, I might even get a little bit lower, like, like kind of like monster walks. We're, we're not getting into that right now, but I'm staying a little bit lower because sometimes I'm walking up a big hill and when I'm going fast, I lean forward a little bit and I'm actually trying to put all the tension in my glutes and my hamstrings. This is why incline walking is the number one way to burn fat. In my professional opinion, I think a lot of other trainers would agree because if you're walking in an incline, you're gonna be sparing muscle, which every trainer and strength trainer, we wanna build as much muscle as possible, build up our fitness bank account. If you haven't seen my video already, watch it. I say, it's my video on strength over cardio. I want you to, perf I want you to, um, why am I losing my train of thought? I want you to have a, a strength training preference first and then have a cardio preference second, okay? We're bumping it up, two miles an hour. Let's keep walking here. All right, we're at two miles an hour. This might be it, so I think this is it, but that's okay, two miles an hour, we're walking a little bit faster. Heel to toe here, all right? So like I was saying, strength over cardio. Cardio, what we're doing here is the icing on the cake. This is great, this is a great way to burn fat, but if you wanna survive long-term with this, we gotta implement strength training. Body weight training, check out some of my body weight workouts. Maybe you do join a gym and you get a personal trainer and you start lifting. You need to do that because as we get older, 60, 70, and 80, we need that muscle mass. We need that strength to help us do things. We need to have that, that muscle tissue to be able to lift, to squat, to walk, to do things because it doesn't get easier as we get older. So this is great. Do this right now like we're doing. It's gonna help you burn fat, but we gotta maintain and we gotta make sure that we're, we're strong too as well. So. That is it, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this down, all right? Well, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the incline all the way down the flat, all right? And then once this incline comes all the way down, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. But again, I really hope you enjoyed this workout. It's something a little different. I call it a beginner treadmill warm up. I doubt you've seen anything like this because you know I search YouTube too and I'm always looking for better and newer content to provide you to make sure I can keep delivering really cool different you know exercises to make exercising fun and make it enjoyable this is definitely a little different if you feel unsafe on this treadmill you can do this stuff on the ground and maybe you just do the walking portion so if you didn't feel like doing all those dynamic warm-ups with the knee to chest and all that stuff you can go ahead and just do it on the ground or you can just go ahead and walk and then if you feel comfortable you can go on the treadmill and do the rest but the biggest thing I want you to get out of this is after that halfway point is I want you to walk at that incline. So I do have a beginner treadmill workout for weight loss. It's a 10 minute workout. Um, I'll link that here down in the description. It's my, one of my most popular videos I've put out in a long time and I want you to check it out because basically it's a 10 minute workout on the treadmill and every minute we go up one on the incline. But the thing is, is we keep the speed constant and then we're adjusting the incline as we go. And I know some of us, we're trying to go at a higher speed and slowly bring up the incline. What I wanted to try and guide you on today is I want you to max out that incline. Well, we didn't max it, we went 10. Max out on this treadmill is 15. Most treadmills max out at 15. Some don't have it. I've seen some, um, I was in Savannah many years ago. They had one that went up to 30, it was insane. Um, which is a little intense, don't worry about that. But 10's good, 10's a good, it wasn't crazy and there's hills that I'm sure maybe they're in your neighborhood that are steeper than a level 10. But if you're at level 10, and you can gradually walk up that and build up. We went up to two miles an hour today. Maybe you can get it up to 2.5 or even three. For me, like if I'm walking in a nice hill, I never go really more than 3.5. Uh, 2.5, 3.53, that's a good pace, especially if I'm using a weighted vest, which I haven't even brought onto this channel yet. I'm, I'm really excited actually to bring you that because that's another level of working out that I do, walking my dog Arlo. Um, if you haven't seen one of my YouTube shorts, I just put it out. Um, I'll link it down here, down below. You can check out my one minute of video of how to give your dog the best energy. It's really cool. Got my golden doodle Arlo, he's super awesome. And I love taking him on walks, but I use a weighted vest when I go walking. So I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. I'll cut this video short now. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, I appreciate you. If you're brand new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss any of my latest content. Also comment down below if you have any questions or any other treadmill workouts or different types of content you want me to produce because I get a lot of my inspiration from you 
do. I read every single comment as much as I can. I check all my messages and I just wanna help you get in the best shape of your life and I wanna provide a lot of this information for free because I never had access to any of this when I was growing up. All I had was a fitness magazine and if I had me growing up at 13, I'd be a whole new person and hopefully no matter how old you are, if you're 5, 12, 13, or 80 watching this video, I hope I can serve you and help you get in better shape uh, for as long as we're here on earth, okay? So also, um, I'd love to share with you that I do have my Beginner Bodyweight Basics program. It does have a 24-7 access to a members-only Discord community um, that has a ton of members, including myself, in a positive, uplifting, and helpful community. So if you want a little bit more than what you're getting here in some of these free workouts online. I do have a fully guided system. It's 30 days that can be built in 60 to 90 days. I will be adding to that program. It's body weight only. You don't need any exercise equipment or anything like that. And I'll have recipes and a nutritional guide and all that stuff. So if you wanna learn more, click the link down below and you can join the family. So again, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you and I can't wait to see you in the next workout. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but some matter much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You gonna see my name up on the flag. I sail the ship and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on the line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. It's gonna happen and so fast. It never changed myself.